While as we speak, roads are becoming extremely icy out there, and a number of slide offs and accidents have already been reported, especially in inland areas. And driving conditions will get even tougher as the afternoon progresses. WMTW News 8's Katie Thompson is live in Portland now. So, Katie, how are things looking out there right now? Well, Tracy, we are parked on Marginal Way, taking a look at 295 behind me. The speeds right now are down to 40 miles an hour on this stretch of 295, and it appears that people are doing okay, giving each other enough space and uh, taking it slow. We've seen a lot of plow trucks. In fact, here goes one right now. Trying to lift that slush that's accumulating on the uh, the side streets, but people are still just really having an okay time on this stretch of the roadway. A little bit different than what we're hearing about inland, but that is of course because our temperatures are just now starting to rise. Last check, we were about 31, hanging right around 30 degrees. But I think it's that cold, dense air that Matt was talking about that's really leading to this rain still just sticking on parts of the roadway already covered in ice. You can see it. Right here, it's not—it's not coming down as rain. It's—it's it's adding to the accumulation of the ice that's already on the roadways. And another thing that's really fascinating is that. In just about the last hour, we've seen on the tree branches, even on, on some of the, the areas of, of grass that, that aren't covered by snow, that ice just accumulating really quickly. Uh, and that's definitely going to be something that we're going to watch as the day goes on. Could lead to power outages, uh, tree branches weighed down by ice, that sort of thing. Um, we are expecting, though, as, the, as Matt said, and the temperatures uh, continue to, to rise a little bit here in Portland, that this will just change over to rain. But it's icy and it's still slippery on some of the back roads, so you want to be careful out there. We're hoping to talk to Portland Public Works later on in the day to find out how they're going to be prepping for the storm because there are some concerns about localized flooding, especially where all this snow will go uh, when it's melted down by that rain. So we will continue to monitor the conditions from here in Portland for now. Uh, we'll send it back to you guys. All right.